Hey you guys, this is Kat and I again, and I'm coming to you with a review of the JLB High Pigment Vamp Lip Colors. And this is how they look. I got these from Ross, I think, for $6.99, so I got them, of course, because I thought that was a good deal for five lipsticks. And they claimed that they were intense high pigment vamp colors and it was coming as a fall this is just another one of those things that i said that probably would have went with my birthday haul but i never used it before so i said instead of just um just showing you guys a holiday i just do some type of video with a lot of the products so the first color is cabernet i guess i'll just swatch them on my hand and let me get this all swatch up and on my lips <clears throat> and then tell you what I think of them overall so this is this one and for some reason it has like an oily layer on there I didn't put that on there you guys it smells like coconut oil like the whole like I don't even smell like coconut oil and then it gets more and more oily as my skin touches it, like when I just touch it. But I didn't put that on there, you guys. I don't know why they have a layer of oil on them. Let me look at the ingredients. Okay, it's no ingredients, but it has one, two, three, four, five colors. Let me just get into those. So the first one is this one, Cabernet. Yeah, Cabernet. And it looks like this. Um, my sister found the ingredients on the back. I see. So this Cabernet. And this is how the packaging looks. So it looks like that. And I can put that on my lips really quick. I like this. <clears throat> I soak with swatches on the spot, like I have lipstick or lip gloss or whatever I'm swatching. If I have to do it on the spot and I'm not just swatching to take pictures of it and insert it into the video, they'd be all over the place. So just bear with me, you guys. Mm, I like that. And it is Cabernet. I like Cabernet. The next color. Yes, you like it? Mm -hmm. Yes, Diva. And this one smells like coconut. Cocoa butter, that's what it smells like. And this is Diva. Hmm. So this deep compared to this packaging, it looks like it. But if um like if you were looking at this with your own eyes, you'll be able to see it closer. The packaging is like a brown, but it has like finely, very fine glitters in it that's the same color though and so is the lip gloss so that's awesome <clears throat> let me swatch those and also you guys they had another set and it was like the neon colors it was just like pink it was like three different pinks in there a purple i don't want to say it had a red in it but it was five colors in that one too i know it had like three different pinks a hot pink a neon pink A milky pink that one look good on me. Um, 
a purple, <clears throat> something like that, like a light purple, just like the one Too Faced had. This is what I think that they were going for with this look, but I don't, I don't know if I think they're dupes. I've tried those. I don't own one of those, so I wouldn't know, but here's the next color, the Liquid Lipstick and Pandora. See how it has that spot of grease on there on the D? I don't know what's that about. And it smells like cocoa butter. Pandora. Hmm. Now with Pandora, this swatch is way darker than the two. So, I don't feel good about that. But let me put it on the lips and see if I even like it. Hmm. And this feels empty like it's not in here. It is the I squeeze the tube and it's putting me in there. Like I said, I suck at these on the spot, so I just said this one is really all over the place. Try to make that a little better. Mm. It's an okay color. Nothing I would just pick. I don't like these colors on me. Like this really dark purple. I don't like it. Well, I don't know. It's nice. I don't get these though. But look at that color compared to the two. I don't like that. <clears throat> Let me take that one out. I don't want to take it off just yet. So next is this one. This looks like a bluish purple. This is the reason I really got this set. Because of this color right here. It's a bluish purple. And I remember MAC came out with a lipstick in collaboration with... It was called Gunner. And it was in... Or either Stunner. I think it was Gunner. And it was in collaboration with Nasty Gal. And I didn't get it. And I regret not getting that one. So I got this to see if I like the color on me. And see if I should chase down a better, more high-end version of this color to see if I would like it on my skin tone. So, yeah, and that one is called Vixen. You see it has all those oil spots on the back of it, which is weird as heck. So, let me go ahead and hand swatch it. Now, this color here is lighter than... The one on my lips, but look at the comparison of the colors and packaging. You would think this one would be darker, but this one is dark as heck. This dark as heck. But here is the swatch for that one. And as you can see, that one right here is darker than this one. But this is the packaging for this one. So, I have this one on my lip. Let me take it and put on this
put this one on. This is Vixen on it. Vixen. Why the right color? Keep getting confused. I do because this is on. This is not bluish at all. Disappointed in this. And it's, see how it's doing unevenly? This one feels empty too. Let me squeeze it up. Got a lot when I do that. Let I mean, I like the color, it's okay. Okay, the last color in the package, and it's the other reason why I got this. It's because I thought this was going to be a chocolate brown that I've been dying for. And this color is pale brown, and it's really oily on the back. So, of course, I'm going to start off with this swatch. This looks like a red, dark red. I thought it was going to be chocolate brown. See that? Is it just me or it looks kind of red? I don't see when I put it on the list, but it looks like a, like a, um, like a, a brownish red though. Like it still is brown, but it looks more reddish brown instead of like a pure chocolate brown. Like the packaging is like, I just show them to you side by side. Well, I guess they match, but I wanted a chocolate brown. I wanted a chocolate brown. I didn't want this, you guys. So, I'm going to put that on my lips to see if I even like it. <clears throat> this is an okay color. Okay, spellbound. See, it looks red. Trying to just clean up uh, my sucky lip swatch. I mean, it's an okay color, but it's red, and I thought <clears throat> it was going to be brown. So this is the tube compared to my lips.
Okay, yes. So my final verdict on this product is um here are the swatches, but if you want to pick this up, I think that you should because they are moisturizing to the lips. I mean, they're only $6.99. That's a steal to me. And I think that they are they're nice quality for the price. I just don't like it the fact that some of the tubes do not match the lip swatches as such. But overall, I think it would be nice because you can just pop into Ross. And I don't think that the company is just that serious of a company to just be bashing for their mistake. If it was someone like Too Faced that would have pulled that, I would have been more mad. But it's just JLB. And I couldn't even find a website on them, you guys. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.